Bill Shorten has taken a jab at Malcolm Turnbull, saying he should be proud that One Nation is taking the credit for the latest asylum seeker laws. But the government's controversial legislation is doing exactly what it hoped it would do, opening up deep wounds within the Labor Party, with at least one MP arguing against the change. On a tour of remote South Australian communities, the Prime Minister reinforced he's no soft touch on border protection. We decide who is coming here. We don't outsource that to the people smugglers. Yesterday he announced legislation to make sure anyone who tries to come to Australia by boat never steps foot here, including people who eventually settle and become citizens of another country, even as tourists or on business. That idea seems ludicrous on face value. The government's move is having its desired effect on Labor. It's prompted several MPs to express their concerns on social media, including Peter Khalil, who says he'll argue against it, leaving the opposition open to claims like this. The Labor Party has no ability uh, to, send, to send a tough message to people smugglers and to keep our borders under control. The opposition leader says Labor will decide its position after the government shows it the bill. Mr Turnbull's latest ridiculous thought bubble is more about playing the politics of keeping one nation happy. And I notice one nation's come out and taken full credit for the policy already. Ms Hansen is indeed claiming a win. I do back the policy. I think we need to make a very tough stance and put out a clear message. Refugees are not welcome here. There's Pauline Hansen calling the shots now for the Liberal Party on immigration policy? Absolutely not. With the election fought and won and no votes for years, the question why now is a valid one. The answer may be revealed soon with speculation the government is close to finalising deals for third country resettlement for those on Manus Island and Nauru. If there is some other plan as you intimate in your question, why won't the government re reveal the detail? We have constantly been looking for resettlement options and no, I'm not confirming which countries. The UN Special Rapporteur on the Human Rights of Migrants arrives tomorrow for a three-week assignment on Australia's refugee policies. He'll be busy. Daniela Ritorto, SBS World News.